Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well, I hope you're staying well, that um, your kids or your families are staying well, um, and just that you're doing, you know, as good as can be expected right now. I had to let you guys know um, what's going on. I am, right now, I am in a hotel room. I'm doing a quarantine because I will be having my surgery, my big surgery that I've been talking about for so long, um, the 19th. So I had to fly up to where my surgeon is and go ahead and be tested for COVID and get my blood typing and, and things done and then go ahead and quarantine for a week. So that is currently what I'm doing. And um, yeah, so next Wednesday, the 19th, I will be getting my occipital nerve decompressed. Uh, they have it They have it down as decompression and neurectomy. So I'm not, you know, I'm sure probably both and I'm not really sure what to expect actually as far as that uh, C1 laminectomy because there's some stenosis and then the C1 C2 fusion so I'm very excited uh, this has been such a long time coming and such a long long journey of trying to figure out what was wrong and I just feel like we're finally on to um, the the most likely cause like the, the the reason that i'm having the 24 7 head pain right and that is because the the occipital neural neuralgia is you know causing the pain but the occipital neuralgia is caused by the compression and the stenosis and the the instability and then of course that is triggering chronic migraines which i've been having daily lately for like the past month probably they're back to daily so i am thrilled about that and I had to tell you guys because I've talked so much about it and been in this collar for so long so um, the day before I will go for uh, to get a pick line uh, you know those of us with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome have such crappy veins and so I'll be getting a pick line so I'm glad about that too because um, IVs are always such a pain for me for any procedure any anything that I do um, in the hospital or anything I need an IV for so um yeah I will try to document as much as I can I am just really like hurting right now I'm having a lot a lot of pain and um the reason is because so um I kind of alluded to it in the last video that I did but um and it sounds terrible so I don't even know how to say it but um I have a really an amazing pain management doctor he's the best one of the best doctors I've ever had but he's intelligent and, and compassionate kind and just really just great great doctor empathetic which is hard to find I feel like um, and he takes on the worst of the worst patients patients that need higher doses because they're they've got such complicated cases and things and um, he takes that's all he does is pain management he's been an advocate ever since the CDC guidelines came out and um, advocating to keep the um, you know to keep government out of medicine out of out of doctor patient relationships and I'm saying I'm telling you all this to say that um, as a result he has been targeted um, he's undergoing federal charges and um, he hasn't had his court date yet but until then he cannot write prescriptions um, well he actually surrendered that like just being cooperative so um, Please pray for him. He's an amazing doctor and he doesn't deserve this. He's very cautious, very careful. Um, it's just so, it's just so unfair. Having said all that, I'm, I'm without the pain management that I have, you know, been with for the past eight years. And so I haven't been able to, to do really hardly anything. Um, that's why I haven't been on here much. And really like the only thing that I do is get on YouTube, I mean, not YouTube, um, Facebook because those of us that are patients are trying to you know support each other through this because it's been really really hard on us uh, suddenly just not you know having our medicine and it's been hard finding a doctor to to treat us um, so quickly and, and everything so um, that's why I haven't been on here um, but I also wanted to share that because I would really appreciate prayers um, your thoughts anything that you'd be willing to send my way um, because I'm scared about the post-op pain. Um, you know, right now it's affecting me so much and I haven't even had surgery. Uh, so I'm really nervous about the, 
how I'm going to feel after surgery. And just, I've heard horror stories because of this, the opioid crisis and all of that, that um, a lot of patients are going under, under medicated or getting under medicated after surgery. So I'm just, I'm just fearful, anxious, you know, um, I think it'll probably be okay, but I still would really appreciate your prayers. So, um, yeah, but saying all that to say, I will definitely try to, to document as much as I can uh, for those of you that are curious uh, about the process and what to expect and all of those things um, I just don't know kind of you know how I'll be feeling afterwards so um, and because of COVID my husband can't stay in the hospital with me so I won't have help that way you know and so I don't really know but I just I just want to be able to rest and recover and um, so please pray for me and um, pray that this is it, like that this is what takes away my 24 seven de debilitating head pain, you know, and all um, that triggers all the migraines and all of that. I've, I'm back to having daily migraines and have for, been for like probably the past month. Um, it's been bad. So I super appreciate all your prayers and support. And um, just I, I hope that it will help. Um, not only obviously for relief, but then maybe by seeing, by sharing my journey, hopefully maybe, I know there's so many of you out there that are either thinking, you know, you've been diagnosed with the same thing or you're considering the same surgery procedure, what what have you. So um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to share all of that with you guys so you know what it's like. Cause I, I've been wondering myself, you know, all these since, since the, but the past four years, since I've, um, gone back and forth over whether this was what was causing it and everything so yeah i hope i'll be able to uh, document as much as possible but i will definitely be back on here as soon as i can um and update you guys and i did just want to thank you and um again apologize for being so awful about responding to things i truthfully just because i'm struggling so much uh pain wise I have had to stay off social media really. The only reason I get on like Facebook say is because um, the patients, uh, the patients, um, the other patients that were under this pain management doctor, we, we stay in contact that way uh, in our support group. So I'm running that support group and um, so yeah, but that's about the only reason. So I promise I'm not trying to be flaky or I don't know, you know, make anybody feel ignored or forgotten uh i feel terrible but i'm just really sort of struggling taking it day by day hour by hour it's been hard so um anyway i wanted to update you all and just check in and hopefully very soon i will be uh back but i'm praying for you all thinking of you all stay well take care of yourselves and i will see you soon okay bye